I also another quick video on how to remove a sink to get to your tap. This is either on a caravan or a motorhome, it doesn't matter which. But I did come across my tap was becoming loose underneath. So I'll show you how to get to it because there's probably a few people out there who are a little bit dubious on how to. So there's four screws that hold the sink in. And then you'll find there's, a, there's on the inside of the sink you've got the drain as well. But that has should have enough clearance to lift the drain, the, the sink out, and so you can get to the. Uh, the you'll see when I get take it apart. So we'll have a quick look. Bear with me. Four stainless steel screws. Well, I've got an electric screwdriver, but uh, a bit of muck in the drain. I'm going to do a few videos um, on small repairs that I do to the motorhomes. I've got a couple on YouTube at the moment on changing the taps, changing the top of the tap, uh, major damp repair as well. I've got one of those. That's like quite a few hits. It also gives you a chance to clean around your sink and make sure it's sealed properly. So this should just need a little bit of persuasion. It's been down a while. Gently. That's it. Not much, only a little bit. Okay. This rubber seal is just fixed to lift that up. Okay. And then you'll see, well, I'll move it forward, it needs a bit of a clean. But if you can see that. Okay, this is your drain here, this is your connection, and uh, I've got an earth wire off somewhere, that's interesting. So, I'm just going to move that out of the way slightly. This is my rubber, which I'll clean and put this all back on the bit. And the purpose is this, is to show you how to get the tap. So I'm going to take you off and I'm just going to show you what's underneath. Okay. So underneath here you can see that as the two pipes going in there's also you can see like a um, a U-shaped so this this part here this is a bracket. It's an open-ended U-shape, C-shape, whatever you want to call it. And right at the very back of here is a brass nut and a bolt. The actual bolt fits into the bottom of the tap, and then the brass nut fits on top. And that's how you replace, that's how you take the tap out. That's, it's very straightforward. There's a small washer that underneath this as well, rubber washer. So you put that on first, rubber washer, then this C-bracket or U-bracket, whatever you want to call it, goes on. There's a hole in it, drilled at the back, then there is a brass nut, I don't know if I can see that. There, you can just about see the brass nut. Okay, now that goes on top of a bolt, which the bolt goes through the work surface, and it goes into the tap. And I've got to figure out now, why this earth? The earth is on there for um, just short purposes, shorting, so, you know, electrical, so because we're 240 volt and we're 12 volt. So I'll look where that's going, why that come off, I do not know. But also underneath here, you'll see there's also the main connectors for the taps. And also there's a thermostat and the gas control for the fridge as well. So I thought I'd do a quick short video, just so I can show you not to be scared. And that the pipes could do with a bit of a clean as well. I might wax some bleach down there and some hot water. Okay, another quick how-to video. Thanks for watching. If you subscribe and share, that would be fantastic. If you just find them interested in just do leave a comment or nothing. Entirely up to you. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Bye.